Hello, I'm back in my antivirus garden um, and I've decided to grow a trough with some uh, nice lush cutting herbs because I think they'll they'll be a nice treat and they should grow quite quickly. Um, so I've got here a self-watering trough and you can use these indoors as well as outside or in the greenhouse. Uh, they have a little platform at the bottom and a tube so that you can top up the water and they have little overflow uh, valves in them so that if you put too much water in then it'll um, it'll escape so just bear that in mind if you're watering them indoors maybe put them somewhere where it won't matter if, if you overdo it a bit so what I'm going to do here I've made um, a mixture here this is my um, homemade leaf mould which I made in a big builder's bag it's quite old now so it's really well rotted and I've mixed in some of this vermiculite which is a natural product um, and it just sort of lightens it up um, and makes it helps it keep the texture of it open and airy which is good for root uh, root production so what I'm going to do is fill up my trough I literally just plant onto the top of the little platform and as the roots form they will find their way down into the into the water if they want it so they're very good these self-watering things and you can buy them online um, I've also got a hanging basket which is a self-watering one which I got from I think it was from Aldi last year, but again, they're the sort of things they, that you get on the middle aisle and they come and go. And if you don't, if you're not there at the right time, then unless, they, unless they've got them online, it might be worth having a look. Self-watering planters, just see what they have. But they are quite useful just because they can um, be used indoors. Now, I didn't um, have enough of that to fill it up, so I'm going to put some proper bought compost on top which won't be, won't be bad because actually it's got the right nutrients in as opposed to just my garden compost. So a little bit of a mixture. And if you found yourself trying to think, well, should I reuse some old compost? Um, it's, it's a bit touch and go if it'll work, but what you can always do is put the old stuff at the bottom and put some fresh compost on the top where you're going to sow your seeds. So I think that will do. And what I've decided to put in this are three types of herbs, which are all sort of green leafy herbs that you want to just snip a few off um, for, for just using in your cooking. So the first one I've got is basil. And this has to be, um, uh, it says gently press it into the soil, so the, soil, the seeds into the soil, but do not cover. So I'm going to do a third and a third and a third. I've got three types of seeds I'm going to use. So I'll just take some of my basil seed and just sprinkle it on here, just covering over about a third. And then I'm just going to press it on with my hand like that. It's all very approximate, really. So that's basil. And then the next one I've got is... Uh, Actually, I'm going to do my dill next. I've got some dill. And that one is, um, uh, you sow it on the surface of the compost and apply a fine sprinkling of vermiculite. Well, I've already got some of this. In a way, when you're using vermiculite, it's to sort of keep the um, seeds from, you don't want them covered over. You're not going to bury these deep. They, they will germinate with light on the surface. So. It's, you need to just check on your seed packets whenever you're sowing something to see what the germination requirements are because they're not all not all seeds are the same. So these will want a, just a little covering, the dill, a little covering of, I'm going to tear the packet open, they're so fine. That's better. Get to them. They've sort of got static and clinging on to the inside of the pack. Still got a few left. I'm not going to use all of them. I'll roll the rest up and save those for later. And what I'm going to do with those, it's three different techniques really, 
just a little sprinkle of my vermiculite on the surface. So that's kind of light and bright. And the vermiculite will help keep the surface of the seed in contact with the with the compost as much clumpers in there. There we go. It's all pretty roughly done. Um, and you know you'll see the difference in the in the seeds when they come up in in the leaves. You'll know which is which of your of your seeds. But actually I should have done some labels but I will just pop a little label in each one just to remind me because when the first little seed leaves come up you're never quite sure what's what. So that is dill. Always makes me think of salmon at, at Ikea dill. I think that's the first time I ever had it. I like it though, it's nice. And then finally I've got coriander seed. Um, coriander seed, that way up, right. Uh, so coriander, the green leafy one. This isn't going to make, um, it's not suitable for gathering for seed, for cooking, but it's actually for the leaves, like you'd buy a potted, a potted herb. So this one uh, has to be, um, you want to sow it um, an inch deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scatter it on and then I'm going to cover it over with soil. So I think uh, the reason I've chosen these three is because it gives you an idea of how different seeds have different requirements really. They're all going to grow as a leafy green that you will just snip off. I'm just going to sow all of these because I have got another packet of them. So this is an ordinary coriander. Right, there we go, that's that one. So I was having terrible trouble mixing up my coriander and my basil the other day on my other video for Karen in Iowa. But there we go, that's the, that's the coriander. And that one, I shall just sprinkle some soil on the top. So there'll be a bit of overlap and, you know, some, some will come up in the, in the wrong little section, but none of that matters. That will all be fine. So in here then, we've got basil at, the, at this end. I'm not quite in shot, but anyway, basil at the far end, which is is our basil, lovely for pasta dishes. And in the middle, I've got, I'm not showing it to you properly, in the middle, so basil at this end, in the middle I've got dill, and then at the far end I've got coriander. So that's all planted up. Um, I'll give it a little drink, and then what I'm going to do is cover it over with a piece of bubble wrap, just to keep it warm until the seeds germinate because there will be quite significant temperature fluctuations between day and night at the moment. So we want to keep it warm and keep some humidity in there. So I'm actually not going to water it using the spout. I shall just spray it with some water because the compost is already quite damp, but then I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it stays nice. So I need to put some labels in, but that's it. That's my little herb trough indoors or out. Anyway, I hope you have a go at that. It's always worth a try. Bye.